everybody, welcome to my channel. I am so excited to be getting to this part of the project. Um, I am going to attempt to do a project using this beautiful Santoro um, stamp. Now, I've just been sitting here studying it. Now, what I love most about this is the rock that she's sitting on. Um, and also the beautiful water that she's got her legs in. So I'm trying to think of um, a, a way of doing this stamp justice. Now, in my stash, I have this uh, Card Creations by Kaiser Craft. It's a pack of three dies. And what it does is it makes um, like a, a flip card sort of that sits up on itself. Like if you open it up it has the instructions here on the inside and it comes with three dies and basically you end up having a card that looks like this. So um, normal card, your normal card is like this. You score the first part and then you've got that little shape on the inside and it sits like that. So I've just been sitting here and playing, trying to figure out a way of um, making her kind of stand out on the card and making the um, rock stand out. So more 3D. So I'm hoping to do this 3D kind of project. So um, here we go. We'll see how we go. I'm using um, Nina extra heavy cardstock um, as my stamping surface and of course I'm also going to be using my large stamping pad. I mean these these are quite large and it's just perfect for this. I'm also going to be using um, archival black ink which is here. So, so uh, I'm just going to start off by stamping this image. I am going to use the rubber side of the Tim Holtz platform. Now the, um, the benefits of using this platform is that you hold the card down with magnets and then you um, ink and re-ink until your image is crisp and every part of the image is uh, inked and coming up. So now this is a brand new stamp and I've done it twice. After the two stamps I noticed that there are two um, sections on this girl that just will not, right in the middle there, they won't re-ink. Uh, first thing I do is I try to insert a, another um, paper underneath the, the, um, the card and it still doesn't do it. So what I do is I add a little bit of a card underneath the actual stamp itself and that is the job. Um, I want to thank Leanne Pickens for um, doing that little demo for us on our Facebook group. Um, and yeah, the beauty of this stamp platform is that you can flip it around and redo the first image the same way and it is beautiful. Now the next thing I wanted to do was the rock. So I am now stamping on normal copy paper and I did ink. <laughs> I inked up all over the back of my platform so I smudged that off and so I put some scratch paper so that I wouldn't um, get it too dirty. It's only about a week new. <laughs> And I'm just finishing off the top of the card there where she was sitting. I'm then going to fussy cut the uh, paper copy and then I'm going to transfer around it onto just plain car um, card craft cardstock. So that's my rock done. Uh, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to grab some oxides here and I've got two colors. Uh, one is the ice spruce and one is the I think vintage photo I used or the gather twigs maybe one of the browns just to darken it up. Now I've cut the girl out, I fussy cut her out and I'm just wanting to make sure how I want her. Now see how her hands are out turned like that as if she's actually placing them on the rock? That is how I want her to sit. So I'm pretty sure that's what that's what that's how we're gonna go. Um, just showing you really quickly, grab my Prima watercolors and I'm going for this um, color scheme. She's going to go for the orange and blue. Nothing too fancy with my shading, you guys. It's just uh, the first layer is very, very light, so it gets an all over color. And then I'm going to go for the areas that are like valleys, and they're going to be a darker or a reapplication of blue. I'm really easy. So I'm now going in for her um, uh, flesh tones and then 
um, her hair and I did decide to do brunette today I didn't want to go black I wanted to go black but I decided to do brunette and she turns out gorgeous I love these girls here we go now making the easel card so the front card I scored it in half um, now I'm gonna I'm about to stuff up here this is the part where you uh, make um, the feature where it sits like an easel so you mark the middle part and then I'm just going up now to see how much I want it to fold now see how I do it there don't do it this way flip it around the other way so not a U you want it to be an upside down U so as um, as you see here I have redone it so that it's properly done <laughs> and anyway it didn't matter because you could easily um, just sticky tape it on no problems so this is where I um, I had the girl and the rock in place but then I realized that um, she was sitting quite high up and that her legs weren't like dangling like touching um, the flat part of the card where I wanted her uh, feet to be in the water and if you notice um, her feet have lines on them from the stamp and that doesn't matter because later on I do I'll show you how I do change that. I'm just now popping her up on foam tape. So her back's on foam tape and then her, her little legs are also on foam tape. And I'm just now, so if I make it so that her legs touch the ground, she doesn't look like she's sitting up on the rock and she's off the card, so to speak. And that was the most important thing for me, that she was sitting on the card with her hands on the side and then that the rock itself was sitting a flush to the top part of the easel so I, I went with it anyway I, I thought I'll try to find a way of making her legs look like they're in the water so I lifted the rock up so it's barely touching the top of that easel and I really love this this is kind of what I imagined next part the other parts of the stamp are the koi fish and the crab and I'm just going ahead now I'm stamping them on then I'm going to watercolor them on I'm just forwarding through this you know what I'm doing Okay, so then I stamped the bottom part, uh, so the rock comes off, the girl comes off, and we just got the bottom part where the water touches. You've got her feet, which I have done in a really light um, flesh color, and then I'm actually putting on some blues and then some greens to make it look like um, it's pretty, uh, pretty water. Um, I then do the fish as well in, in koi color orange. So that's what it looks like now. So here I am going to um, bring the water up off the bottom of the card and I'm um, just adjusting now so making sure that her feet are flush with the feet in the water and then I'm cutting off the excess off the bottom so that it um, it uh, fits on the card and it's not too awkward. I pop that up with 3D foam tape and um, it's starting to look good. Now for the flat part of the card basically this is a normal card that um, I just bought off the shelf and it's not watercolor paper so you just have to be really quick it's a quick flat um, f it's a quick sweep of watercolor and that's it I'm not gonna do anything crazy I'm now adding the fishies and they're on with 3d tape and then I'm get I'm grabbing this um, 3d um, perfect pearls which came in the September kit and I'm wiggling it on like waves and I'm really happy with how this turned out she looks so great I love her now, the tackle box here is just an addition to the photo. <laughs> um, so I just wanted to show you, I did make another one because I had another idea. Um, this second girl is also orange and blue, but really light orange and really light blue. I did her the same way. Then I lost the footage and I'm so sorry, but basically what I did was I put glossy accents down and I threw down some of the glitter glass that we had in the um, September kit and uh, it just turned out so beautiful. It looks like shale, you know, the shells that are in the water. And it could also look like glassy uh, lake water. It's just so beautiful. I love the contrast of the two colors. I'm going to throw up some photos now to show you um, some close-ups because it's not too close here and it goes really fast because it's on four times This is the difference between the two girls the darker in color and the other one. I did make her blonde. She's gorgeous This is the first one that you saw me make I'm um, just showing you I did add glossy accents um, to the, the fishes so it looked like they were like wet from the water 
here's the tackle box and it just it really just adds to the piece I love the detail and my lighthouse from home there it just seemed to go really well here here is the other blonde little girl um, look at these the glitter glass is fantastic it just really adds to the feel of the card I did also add glossy accents to the uh, a little crabby there so he looks like he's glistening coming out of the water coming to say hi the fish also the blue fish are are glistening with glossy accents I love this whole piece thank you so much for watching you guys thank you for liking and subscribing have a lovely day